Hello, hello to all of my amazing Cancers. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you Cancers. Hopefully you will have a great day. I know that you are, at least you're planning on having a great day, right? That's the intention you set, right? Of course. Let's get right into your reading. We are approximately nine days away from the next full moon. OMG. Yes, that is your ruling planet. And we know that the moon is not a planet. It's a luminary. But we're approximately nine days away from it, from it being fully illuminated. So let's get into your reading. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing cancers as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where my cancers need to take action. Cancers, let's get right into your reading. By now, you know that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below in the description box. All right, let's go. Let's put these oracle cards to the side and see what these cards have to say. All right. All right. Looks like you have a guardian angel watching over you, really, really protecting you from... Okay. Um, so we have the Empress card right here. Mm -hmm. We have the Hangman. Mm-hmm. We have the temperance card. Uh huh. You have a fiery energy around you that is really keeping you purified and keeping you, helping you do your transition. Like as you're about to give birth to something you're very passionate about. And so um, they keep you focused. So be very, very patient because remember we got a couple of things going on. Not only are we very close to the moon being fully illuminated, we also have Uranus or Uranus, which is currently retrograde. We also have Venus, which is currently retrograde. We also have Mercury that is in pre-shadow retrograde. So it's about to go retrograde on the 14th of the month. So messages could be like kind of crazy all over the place like one minute you could be thinking about somebody that you were in a romantic relationship with you could be thinking about balancing out your daily affairs when it comes to your money but this is where you want to really like lean into giving yourselves like like those pep talks to yourself like really loving up on yourself more like speaking things into existence like really changing the course of any miscommunication that's coming through or trying to force his way through but i see you balancing out your daily affairs when it comes to money cancer this is great like i said i see your um i see some of you all working regular jobs but also really focusing on what you're passionate about and giving birth to that that's what's being protected right now like really really protected more so than before that's why having those positive self you know talks with yourself is going to be so like you can do it you can do it cancer you can do it like really you know being giving yourself pep talks that's what i meant to say like really giving yourself some serious pep talks right now the number nine is the number of transformation meaning that something needs to end in order to begin again the number nine is the number that symbolizes evolution and enhancement of psychic abilities now you all are already empaths you all are intuitives. You all are human lie detectors. You all are very nurturing mother spirit, mothering spirits. I'm talking to all of my cancers, men and women. Highly, highly intuitive. So you have that backing of the moon. You know, that moon is the moon is aligned to all of our feelings, subconscious habits, moods, and our emotions, right? So like the crab with those antennas, you're very receptive to energy. And so, like I said, while you are protecting your gifts, right? Like this baby, you're like this, like the person looks like they're pregnant with a baby while you're protecting your baby, something you're about to give birth to. I'm talking about men and women. You're about to give birth to something you're very passionate. Having these talks, like embracing all sides of yourselves, right? Including the fact that, you know, when something feels out of place, it causes you to get moody. Listen to all of that, right? If there's something that you feel like you're becoming too clingy to, you like being really aware, like I'm no longer clingy, you know, clinging on to things that I feel like, okay, I can't free myself from, you know, um, I'm no longer going to be, if I'm suspicious of something, I'm going to go with that. Like really having those 
those positive self talks, those, those pep talks about things because you all are too highly intuitive not to listen to your your intuition. Number nines are also very warm, very outgoing, very loving with sort of a dramatic flair. They exude um, very magnetic personalities. It pretty much allows them to get along with anybody. So this is where you all going to have to really, really get like lean into yourselves and get laser focused. <clears throat> I'm seeing money being very, very attracted to you all because, again, you have this very mothering energy. See how this is like Mother Earth, but it's um, you have this Mother Earth energy. So people who come to you and they need that that um, that nurturing, you just never know what people what has happened in people's childhoods to make them kind of sort of really want to connect themselves to you. So, again, it's this right here that's going to really bring a lot of money into you know, for a lot of money for you all because you genuinely care about people. There's people who fake it, but no, you all genuinely care about people, right? And so you all will know, this is this is what I'm talking about embracing all sides of yourselves because you all will know when you start to think about a particular person or place or thing and it causes you to feel moody or out of control, okay, that's an energy I need to stay away from emotionally and physically, right? Or something that causes you to start having negative thoughts about a person. Okay, I need to change this. I need to change the channel, right? That's how you start to really um, train yourselves to start listening to this this intuition that you all have. Or if you start to feel um, unpredictable when it comes to a situation, something like like if I get around that energy, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like I I, I really don't know if I'm maybe able to control myself. Pay attention to that. Like, pay attention because that's just something you want to stay as far away from as possible. Whether you have kids with them or not, and if they're little kids, then use a third party. You know, somebody that's going to be there, the eyes and the ears, to pay attention to everything, and it's going to keep you calm. It has to be somebody that's high vibrational, right? Seriously, um, so that they're not, you know, lighting a flame under you, like, because you're a water sign, like, making you boiling hot every time you think about this person. This person is right there just, like, you know, adding fuel to the fire. You don't want that energy around you, right? You're going to start seeing things moving very, very quickly for you. I see quick progression, but you got to get focused, like laser, laser, laser focused moving forward because there's a lot of money at stake. There's a lot of, like I said, you have somebody, like you have a spirit around you that's keeping that fire around you to keep you purified. Number nines are also very warm, very outgoing. Like I said, have a dramatic flair. Number nines are also have a very powerful personality. Number nines are very sweet nature souls. They don't like seeing anybody in pain. The first person you don't want to see in pain is yourself. Okay, that's number nine, right? Again, I'm seeing financial independence for you all. So again, there are going to be some energies around you, Cancer, you know, who is not going to be handling um, the full moon along with these planets being retrograde very well. It's going to throw some people completely out of whack. And for some of you all, you may feel like, okay, why am I having all these messages? But I want you to remember this reading. You have a guardian angel around you so you focus on protecting your gifts and really speaking to your highest selves right speaking to your highest selves like i you know when planets go retrograde people forget all of it just falls out of the window like i just forgot <laughs> all this craziness is happening because you're focusing on people around you that's what i'm saying start training yourself right now to speak to your highest selves like start doing that that pep talk right emotionally you're going to feel like you hit the jackpot i'm telling you i see you looking for new windows of opportunity when it comes to money but i'm telling you this is how you keep your spirits high this is how you really really keep your spirits high and this is what i'm saying here in your reading continue to what is it that you love about yourself like really what, when, when you look at yourself, Cancer, because this is what's going to keep you focused, what is it that you love about you, right? One of the, I can pick out a lot of things that I really, really love about Cancers. I love the fact that at the highest frequency, Cancers are sweethearts. You all are sweethearts. At your highest frequency, you like to give your absolute best. That you all are tenacious, very loyal, very persuasive, very... Um, 
sympathetic to people, very nurturing energy. And so those are things you want to keep at the forefront and keep saying it out of your mouth. I'm very, I have been, even if you've been sensitive to other people's energy that haven't been so sensitive to you. Again, when you start thinking about that and you feel yourself going down a dark path of like, you know, feeling um, angry or frustrated over all the people that you've nurtured and they didn't change the channel change the channel like don't get to a place cancer where you're bitter because you're a cancer because you're you know um you've gotten around certain energies and that energy made you moody it's like oh okay i gotta start listening to my highest self thank you <laughs> thank you for that gift of, of, of changing my mood when i'm around certain people because i pick up on stuff just like that like that's what you want to be very grateful for your spiritual gifts right I see some alone, somebody spending some alone time near a body of water. Yep, that's what I'm seeing. Somebody spending some alone time. Maybe you're not at a beach. Maybe you're in a in a bath, you know, but just some alone time with just you. Um, maybe you are listening to meditation music with water playing in the background. But again, keep this in mind, Cancer. When you watch this video, you have a guardian angel watching over you, protecting that gift that you have and i'm talking about to men and women they're protecting you they're watching over you so you want to continue with the positive self-talk positive no matter what people said about you or to you in the past to try to hurt you or distract you cancer you want to speak highly to your highest selves right prosperity lies ahead prosperity lies ahead mm -hmm. so we see taurus here with the higher font and taurus here with the, on this card right here Keep up with the positive self-talk. Prosperity lies ahead for you. I'm talking about cancer. Prosperity lies ahead. I don't care what's going on with these planets being retrograde. And I don't care how full that moon is. <laughs> like it can be no fuller than 100%. But you want to spend some, you want to start writing down your list right away, cancer. Like get it out of your system. Don't sit there and just meditate on what people said, what they did, the whole nine yards. You want to get, when I say laser focus, because on the other side of this, you're going to be feeling great. Like, even if you got to cry through it on some days, write it down. What do you love about yourself? Because anything on the low vibration, we can, see the, we can see the silver lining in it. Like I said, if you're moody, it's because there's some energies around you that your spirit is picking up on. Something's off about them. You need to get as far away from that emotion and possibly them as, po as, as possible so that you can remain at your highest frequency, okay? Like I said, financial independence lies ahead. A lot of money lies ahead. And things are going to be happening for you real fast. I see your business increasing, you know, really, really quickly. So you want to keep that positive energy and stay as far away from people that cause you to vibrate low, if possible. Like I said, if you have kids with that person or if it's a, you know, sometimes parents tell their kids when we pass on, we want all the siblings to stay close. You know, y'all, all y'all have, whatever. If that's the case, then... Again, take a best friend with you to family function so you don't have to, you know, focus on family. At least you got a witness just in case people act crazy. Or if it's an ex or something like that, like I said, get a third party involved so that you can keep everything on the up and up, right? That is what I have for you, um, Cancer. But again, I got to drive this point home. Continue the... Um, the pep route this self the self pep rallies <laughs> because i'm telling you you already got a guardian angel watching over you protecting you and the gift that you're giving birth to so there's not a whole lot you need to do again prosperity lies ahead for you and prosperity in every area of your life prosperity in peace prosperity in money prosperity in love prosperity across the board again get some alone time just you and god and tell God exactly what it is you want and what you're grateful for. That's what I have for you, Cancers. I'll see you soon. Bye.